Hi, you guys. So today I have with me problem 4.23 from Young and Friedman's University Physics textbook. Let's get started. But before we go ahead and do that, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, thanks. So boxes A and B are in contact on a horizontal frictionless surface. Box A has a mass of 20.0 kilograms and box B has a mass of 5.0 kilograms. A horizontal force of 250 newtons is exerted on box A. What is the magnitude of the force that box A exerts on box B. Okay, very interesting question. So let's go ahead and write down all of our knowns. So we know that box A has a mass of 20.0 kilograms and box B has a mass of 5.0 kilograms. And this force applied, right, Fa, F applied, is equal to 250 newtons. And we want to find magnitude of force that A exerts on box B. So the force of A on B, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so the best way to understand this problem is to draw force body diagrams. But before we go ahead and do that, let's just take a look at this diagram over here that's super helpful. So if we have two objects in, content, in contact, if we're using our knowledge from the real world, we know that if two boxes are you know, touching each other and you push one, then the other one's also going to move, right? So in this situation, when the setup looks like this, it's obviously going to move. And when it's going to move, it's going to move as one system, right? So if you push box A, then box B is going to move with the same type of motion that box A moves, right? So it's not like you're going to push box A and, I don't know, B is going to move slower. That doesn't make sense. It's going to move as one system, right? So we know that A is going to exert some sort of force on box B. So it's, there's going to be some force A that that box A exerts on box B. And that's going to be force, that's going to be FAB. Then according to Newton's third law, right? Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. That means that there is going to be some force BA that is equal and opposite to AB, right? So force of AB, is equal to the negative of force of B on A, right? Because they are equal and opposite forces according to Newton's third law. Okay, so now let's go ahead and draw our force body diagrams. So let's start off with the system. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is A and B. And A and B is pushed with 250 newtons. So that's going to be F A. Really, there is no other, you know, force in this direction. I mean, there is, of course, you know, our force of gravity and our normal force, but we're not really looking at that motion and that axis. So we can just cancel these out. So the only force we have in this direction, let's go ahead and make this positive and this negative, is F A. Now what about box A? Box A, again, has FG and FN, but they just cancel out. Has this, you know, this applied force of 250 newtons, but it also has this force BA acting on it, right, in the opposite direction, right? What about box B? Box B has only one, well, actually, let's start off with FG and FN, and they cancel out, right? But box B only really has FAB acting on it. So those are our force body diagrams. Now, let's go ahead and write down equations. So equations, let's start off with a system. So in the system, 
summation of forces is just Fa, and that is the net force on the system. And net force is going to be, you know, mass times acceleration. And the mass is going to be Ma plus Mb times the acceleration of the system, right? Okay. What about box A? Summation of forces on box A are going to be the force applied minus, right? So we said this is positive, minus FBA. So minus the force of B on A, right? And that is going to be the net force on A. And we can rewrite that as mass of A times the acceleration of A, which really is the acceleration of the system, right? Because we said the acceleration of the system is equal to the acceleration of A is equal to the acceleration of B. So yeah, there we have it. FA minus FBA is equal to MA. Now for three, for B, the summation of forces on B is just FAB, right? This is the only force that's really acting on it. And we know that that's going to be the net force on B. And that's just going to be MB times the acceleration, right? So now we have these three equations. We have FA is equal to MA plus MB times A. We have FA minus FB on A is equal to mass of A times acceleration. And then three, we have F force of A on B is equal to MB times acceleration of the system. Okay. Or times acceler yeah, acceleration of the system. Awesome. So, okay. So now what we're going to do is we want to find out what is the force that A exerts on B. So this is what we're looking for. If this is what we're looking for, we have MB right over here, but we don't have acceleration. We need acceleration. So let's let's try to look at this equation to see if we can get acceleration from this question, from this equation, from two. FBA, we don't have that. FA, we have that. MA, we have that. Acceleration. Well, if we don't have FBA, then we can't get A. Okay, let's look at this equation. So FA, we have that. MA, we have that. MB, we have that. All right, we can solve for acceleration using equation one. So acceleration using equation one is going to be FA over MA plus MB. And that is going to be 215 newtons over 25 kilograms, right? So 20 plus 5, 25. And that means the acceleration of this system is going to be 10 meters per second squared. Awesome. Now we have the acceleration of this system and we have MB. So now we can get FA on B. So MB, so three, FA on B is five kilograms, 5.0 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared. And that is going to be 50 newtons. So force A on B is equal to 50 newtons. That is our solution. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can always reach me by email or put your question, comment, concern in the comments. All right. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.